Man up now, man up. It's a Man Up Monday. What's up, family? I'm KD Bo in the studio today with an amazing man of God. He is the pastor of Tabernacle of Praise Church International uh, in McDonough, Georgia. That dude, Pastor <laughs> T.J. McBride. What up, man? What's going on, KD? How you doing? I'm good, man. Let me let me just let me. I'm just want to just chop it up with you a little bit. It's a Man yeah. Up Monday, so why not? Come on. So um, a while ago, and I mean a significant while ago. Mm-hmm. Not that that much of a while ago, mm-hmm. but it was a while ago. Yeah. Okay, I don't okay. really want to incriminate myself by uh-huh. telling you how long ago or how short ago it was. Yes, sir. Lady at the car wash, right? Mm-hmm. And so uh, she was uh, She was fine. Yes, sir. She was fine. Yeah. She 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 had a reason to bend all the way down. Come on And now. clean them tires. Come on, come Ain't on. Ain't nothing down there, lady, but what I'm looking for. See, come I'm on looking. now. <laughs> and so, you know, and so I just, I, I'm looking, right? And so yeah. uh, I call, I, I'm looking, but not looking like, What's up, girl? Yeah. I, I had that. I didn't yeah. put that on. Yeah. But I'm looking. There's a little, little flirt in my eyes. Yeah. I call it a little harmless flirt. Uh-huh. Uh, look, she decides to come over to me. Uh-huh. And uh, she's, like, you know, talking to me and, like, hey, what's up? So yeah. she calls me on my look. Yeah, yeah. And I said, no, sis, you uh-huh. know, I, I'm married. I, yeah. I'm just, you know. And here's what she said. She said something that impacted me, and I never forgot it. Uh-huh. She said, so what you looking for? Uh uh-huh. Oh okay. God! <laughs> so, so, the, so I want to talk about that little. It's spring. Yeah. I want to talk about that little turnaround and look spirit. Come on now. If you ain't gonna do nothing, <laughs> what you looking for? That's what I want to talk about. <laughs> so, some people say that guys, that's just what we do. Yeah. Is that true? Is that yeah. is that just what we do? Because when I'm in the mall, I'm gonna tell you that little that little turnaround and look spirit. Yeah. That second look. He trying yeah. to jump on me. Yeah. If that happened yeah. to you, oh. you don't want to say, I don't, I don't want to put you in trouble, sir. Look, look, you ain't put me in trouble. Listen, I tell the guys at my church, I said, listen, we are all men. Uh, God created us uh, with this desire towards women. Right. All right? And so I don't think, listen, we're going to look. Uh, and I say this to my congregation. I say this even with my wife sitting out there because she knows. And I tell her, and I know you're going to look. Right. Okay? All right? But I think we take it a step too far when we start looking and meditating. Wow. You know, uh, when we start pondering thoughts and start getting ideas. Wait a minute. Okay, okay. Here's, okay. So the first look, you can't necessarily control because mm-hmm. somebody walk in, your, in, in front of you, you know, uh, and, they, and they got that, hey, how you doing? That's what it is. It's KD, that- we're just being observant. We're, we're being. I observant. like you, Bishop. <laughs> I like we're, you, Bishop. We're being observant. We're. I mean, you can't help it. People are walking by you, and you look. Okay. Uh, but I think we cross the line, KD, when we look and meditate. When we look and really start pondering ideas and thoughts, yeah. I think that's when we start taking it over the line. Listen, our flesh is our flesh, and every day we're trying to kill this flesh. But when we empower our flesh, and when we give it momentum. And we start giving it things to do and things to think about. I think that's when we start crossing the line. I think you know you. Yes. I mean, you know what you can handle and what you can't handle. Yes. I know what I can handle. So when yes. I see something on that first look mm-hmm. that I know I can't handle the second look, mm-hmm. I don't take the second look. Consequently, you know, at the car wash, mm-hmm. if you, if you, if all this harmless flirting, yeah. okay, I get it. Some of that is just human nature, charisma, and what have you. Uh-huh. But if it don't mean anything, the question becomes, What's the purpose? What mm-hmm. do you hope to get out of this? And I think mm-hmm. that we should analyze everything that we do. Mm-hmm. Because if we don't, then we find ourselves in situations where it just happened. Well, listen, I mean, you're married and I'm married. I mean, we could just be real sometimes. Let me be very clear. Let me yeah, be, yeah. Let, let me be very, I, mean, I got a presidential <laughs> figure. Let me be very clear. I love my wife. Yes, sir. You don't love my wife? Uh, what's, what's wrong with you? Come on now. <laughs> and let, let me clarify. I love mine, too. All right? <laughs> But let's be real. All of us every now and then, we just want to see if we still got it. Yeah. Come on now. Come on. I need some real people out there. You still you still want to see if you still got it. You know, if if you can still attract somebody and then, you know. But listen, we can't play with fire. That's right. Because if you play with fire, you're going to get burnt. And not only will you get burnt, but what about the person we're flirting with? Wow. We're messing with their feelings. We're wow. messing with their emotions. So we brought somebody else into our web. We brought somebody else into our world, and we didn't need to go that far. So we need to not only think of ourselves, but let's think of the other person too. And let's not go that direction. Let's not go that far. Listen, I just want to encourage you out there. You still got it. You ain't got to bring nobody else in your stuff. You still got it. I like you, man. Come on, Doc. I love it. <laughs> and that's what you call a man up. 